good morning students today we are going to discuss the third module of the engineering syllabus third module of the engineering syllabus of second semester formation of partial differential equations before going to the module i want to introduce introduce the partial differential equations in differential equations differential equations there are two types one is ode ordinary differential equations and another one is pde in this ode again linear and non linear again in linear first order first order and in linear second order or second and higher order all these types were discussed earlier okay ode we have studied now we are going to study the pde partial differential equations then before starting with the partial differential equation i would like to tell you about when does this ordinary derivative exist and when does this partial derivative exist and how to differentiate them if a function y is equal to f of x is there that means a dependent variable is depending on a single variable x then there exist a ordinary derivatives okay ordinary derivatives like dy by dx d square y by dx square and so on all these are known as ordinary derivatives and when does this partial derivative exist the functions or the dependent variable depends on two or more variables say for example z is depending on x and y then there exist partial derivatives that is do z by do x do z by do y partial derivative of z with respect to x partial derivative of z with respect to y like that z can be again differentiated partially with respect to x and do square z by do x do y do square z by do y square like that partial derivative exist i would like to give example like example for ordinary differentiation and a partial differentiation say for example area of a circle area of a circle a is equal to pi r square if this is a radius r then equal to pi r square here a is depending on a single variable r as the radius changes or increases or decreases then its area has increased or decreased okay its area has increased or decreased How, in what ratio it has increased or decreased to find out that we are differentiating that is change in area with respect to change in radius that is day dr is equal to pi is constant differential of r square is 2r that is 2 pi r the rate change of area with respect to radius is nothing but with respect to perimeter it is changing whereas area of a right angle triangle if you are considering area of a right angle triangle is given by a is equal to half b into h let me consider a right angle triangle this is base this is a height in this case there are two variables both base and height area of this triangle is depending on base and height if only base changes increases or decreases 
then this area is going to change correct then we are finding the by keeping height constant we are changing into base that is do a by do b is given by partial derivative of a with respect to base okay that is how much it is changing that is half into base differentiation h is constant now half h is constant base b differentiation is 1 like that if you are keeping the height base constant then if you are changing the height increasing or decreasing the height then also area changes that is given by do a y do h partial derivative of area to h that is half of a base base is constant partial derivative of h is a one okay this is how the partial derivative exists and there is a change in this how i'm going to relate this to the partial differential equation till now we know that differential equations containing this ordinary derivatives it may be first order second order or higher order such differential equations are known as ordinary differential equations now the partial differential equation is nothing but a, a differentiation differential equations containing these partial derivatives are known as partial differential equations in that also linear nonlinear homogeneous non-homogeneous different type of partial differential equations are there before that to deal with the solutions of partial differential equations how to form the partial differential equations we have to discuss first in formation of partial differential equations there are two types one type is if a differential equation is containing a only the constants arbitrary constants say here a b are the arbitrary constants eliminating these arbitrary constants we can form the differential equations. sometimes a, a z is depending on a function of x and y then that time we have to eliminate that function then we have to form the partial differential equations so to begin with uh, this one partial uh, formation of partial differential equations uh, first we would like to throw this module we are considering z is a function of x and y z is a function of x and y z is depending on x and y therefore the notations dou z by dou x dou z by dou y every time it is writing it is tedious therefore we are using the standard notations for them as dou z by dou x partial derivative of z with respect to x we denote it by small p or z x z suffix x dou z by dou y as q that is z y dou square z by dou x square by r second order partial derivative of z with respect to x r or z x x dou square z by dou x dou y that is denoted by s yes. z x y or z y x or both of one and the same like that dou square z by dou y square is denoted by t simple notations were used through this module now let me introduce the one or two examples on this formation of a partial differential equation let me form the partial differential equation for z is equal to ax plus by plus ab here a b are the arbitrary constants i have to eliminate them and i have to introduce the partial derivatives in this and one thing we have to remember in this formation of pde is if the number of arbitrary constants here a and b and the independent variables are x and y if both if a number of arbitrary constants is less than the number of our uh, independent variables then we are going to get the partial differential equations of first order only if the number of arbitrary constants is more than the independent variables we have to go for second order or higher order today i will discuss only the first order partial differential equations now z is equal to 
ax plus by plus by plus ab i have to eliminate here a b a b let me differentiate this partially with respect to x while differentiating partially with respect to x i have to keep y constant therefore dou z by dou x is equal to i can write it as b differential of ax is a by is 0 ab is also 0 therefore p equal to a then dou z by dou y partially differentiating with respect to y I will get dou z by dou y equal to q is equal to b because ax is totally constant 0 b into the partial differential of z with respect to y is y and it is also 0 putting a is equal to b and b equal to q in the given differential equation sorry given equation I will get z is equal to px plus qy plus pq this is known as our partial differential equations to this given equation here we have eliminated a b a b in spite of a b i got p p is nothing but dou z by dou x q is nothing but dou z by dou y that is known as partial differential equation similarly if z is equal to x plus a here x plus a into y plus b in the previous example sum of the two terms are there here product of two terms is there then how to eliminate this a and b now now again differentiate partially with respect to x dou z by dou x that is equal to p and here i have differentiating partially with respect to x now y plus b is constant product of two terms is there therefore y plus b is constant and differential of x plus a is partial difference x is 1 it is 0 therefore y plus p equal to y plus b similarly uh, differentiating partially with respect to y i am get dou z by dou y equal to q that is x plus a is constant and a differentiation of y plus b is 1 substituting y plus b equal to p and x plus a equal to in the given equation p into y p into q this is my partial differential equation similarly if two addition of again two terms if it is there z is equal to x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square then how to form the differential equation differentiating again partial with respect to x i am getting p that is dou z by dou x equal to p differential of x plus a the whole square chain rule you have to apply here therefore 2 into x plus a plus addition is there separately you have to differentiate therefore y minus b is 0 and here partial difference with respect to y if you are doing this is 0 y minus b is 2 times y minus b then x minus a I can write it as p divided by 2 and y minus b I can write it as q divided by 2 substituting in the differential equation sorry in the given equation z is equal to p by 2 the whole square plus q by 2 the whole square taking LCM as the 2 square 4 shifting to other side I will get p square plus q square is equal to 4 z this is my required partial differential equation let me write once again this one p square plus q square equal to 4 times z this is how to form the partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants in the next class some more examples on this only we will discuss with a second order and then we will go for the partial different formation of partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary functions thank you